Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I am tackling a topic that's causing some confusion. Android private compute service. There's been a misconception floating around that it's a privacy nightmare, a sneaky way for Google to spy on you. Whenever people see this update in their Google Play Store, and I think mainly because of the name of the app, everyone becomes confused. So, I am here to debunk those myths and show why private compute service is actually a good thing. Please stick around and consider subscribing for more technical clarification videos like this. So, what is private compute service? Imagine a secure vault inside your phone. That's essentially the private compute core. It's a completely isolated environment where certain features can process data without ever leaving your device. Think of features like live caption which understands speech to generate captions or now playing which identifies songs on the fly. This feature uses machine learning but thanks to the private compute core, your data stays private and stays on device only. So, private compute service is not a spy app. Guys, Google is the developer of this app. Yes, Google. This app is made by Google, the very same company who develops the whole Android operating system. So, I can assure you that this app is as much as trustworthy as your Android mobile operating system is. Here is the key difference. Private compute service acts as a secure bridge. It allows the private compute core receive updates for many features like improved captioning models or more accurate music recognition. But here is the crucial part. This bridge is built with strong privacy protections. So, what are the benefits of compute services? Enhanced security. Your data never leaves your phone unencrypted. Then improved features. Updated machine learning models mean features like live captions and now playing keep getting better. Then offline functionality. Many features within the private compute core can work even without an active internet connection thanks to the on-device processing and obviously security. The isolated environment protects your data from external threats. And I can understand the concern about privacy. After all, your data is precious. But with private compute services, Google doesn't have access to the raw data being processed within the private compute core. While the specifics of how the private compute services are complex, but Google is committed to transparency. You can find more technical detail of private compute services on the Android open source project website. I have put the link in the video description. So, next time you see private compute service running on your phone, don't be alarmed. It's actually working to keep your data secure while making your favorite features even better. As always, if you have any further questions, leave a comment below and I will be happy to help. Thank you all for joining me today. If you found this video helpful, consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you.